Hi guys, can everybody see me and hear me? Give me a quick thumbs up. Yeah, you can. Okay, perfect. Cool about it. So, um, we'll get stuck into our warm up there. Sorry about the lateness on the class. I'm, I'm just my laptop wasn't connecting for some reason this morning. So, we're going to get stuck into our warm up. We're just going ankles and wrists, the usual, just rolling bones in nice big circles on each. Hopefully you had a nice weekend now and you're ready to burn off some of those Easter eggs. We change over, we go opposite foot and opposite direction with the wrists. Just easing out any cracks that we have. And relax. We go feet and knees nice and close together. We're going small circles left to right. Knock the light off. Small circles left to right. I'm going to change direction, opposite direction. All right, so bring it up to our hips then. We're opening from out to in with one leg only. Bring it up nice and high into the center. Go, keep working on that one leg. I'm just going to let some people in. Good, and we go from in to out then, needle up high and open it out wide. Same leg. I'm gonna change it over opposite side out to in. And into out. And relax. Next up, we're just going foot to foot, nice and gently, and we're just going to grab one knee in, tuck it in for a chest, two or three steps, tuck the knee in for a chest, two or three steps, knee in, good, next up, we're going to keep going two, three steps, so now we're sitting back, a little behind, get a little stretch on the quad. Super, and next up we're going both arms out to the side. Feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and we're just big rotations, not moving our legs, keeping our arms in the one position, big core rotations. And relax, we're gonna go Crossing hands over in front and then opening out for two. Crossing hand over one, two, and then opening out for two. And relax. We're going to go into bodyweight squats. So feet that little bit wider than shoulders apart. We're sitting down. As long as we can, extending our arms out straight and then driving back up to Stanley. Sitting down and driving back up. Good. Good stuff. So we keep that going. We go for another three or four of those. Excellent. Keep extending your arms out straight, keeping them parallel to the ground. Very good. Once you have your three or four done, you can sit down in the bottom of your squat, elbows on the inside of your knees. We're just moving slowly side to side, opening those hips out. All right, from here we're walking out into a high plank position. We're going rotating, reaching up for the ceiling with our top arm, stretch it right up and back to the center to go opposite side, reaching up and back to center. Good, we'll keep alternating left and right. Excellent. Make sure to turn your feet completely side on into the floor. So don't stay up on your toes. Make sure to turn your feet completely.
and relax. Next up, we're going to go with our greatest stretch. So back in our high plank position, we're going to bring left foot in by left hand. So left foot in by left hand. Straighten our right leg out. We're reaching up for the ceiling with that left hand then. Stretch it up nice and high. Good. Try to really keep your back leg as straight as possible with this one as you're reaching up. Very good, everybody. Up and down and work a total of five. Good. Once you have your five or six done, you can switch it over. You can go opposite side then. Change the feet around. Super. Okay. So. And then once you have your five to six done, we'll take it back up to our feet. And we are going to get into the first part of our class. So just to change it up a little bit this morning, we're going to go with some boxer size to start us off. So if you have uh, a yoga mat set out, what I'm going to get you to do is start at the back of your yoga mat. You're going to work in and then back out. So I'll demonstrate. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's fine. Just use the area that you are working off. So if you don't have a yoga mat, that's absolutely fine. You definitely don't need one. Um, what we are going to do is, you're going to be at the back of your area. You're going to take two hops in, and you're going to throw two punches, one, two, and two hops back in. So two hops in, about the length of whatever space you're working with, left, right, and back out. Okay, so we're going to start off with left leg out in front. I'm just going to set the timer. We're going to work for 33 seconds, and then we're going to have, or sorry, 30 seconds, and then we're going to have 30 seconds of an active recovery after that. We're going to do three rounds. Okay, so nice and simple. We're starting at the back of our area. We're working in in three, two, and one. In, one, two, punch, one, two, and back in. In, one, two, punch, one, two, and back in. Try not to cross your feet over. So you're really solid on. Well done. Feet don't cross over at all. Good. You can put plenty of pace to it. As you're throwing your punch, get a nice rotation so that your palms finish it up down towards the ground and back. Finish it up down, down towards the ground and back. That's the type of punches I want you to throw. Five seconds to go. And relax. Good. First act of recovery, we're just going to jump the jacks, feet wide and nice and high. Jump the jacks. Go we start bringing a little bit more pace to our jumping jacks. In 10 seconds and we're going again. On this next one, I'm going to get you to go with your right leg out in front. So switch the leg that you had in front. Right leg is out in front. So we're now in, throwing our right hand first in, our left hand and back out. So again, in, right hand, left hand, and back out. Good. Make sure to really throw that punch to full extension so your arms are going nice and straight. Once you feel comfortable with it, put a lot more speed to it. Really get stuck into the speed. Good. Keep your hands nice and high. They don't drop down. We stay up high, punch and high and back into high. Five seconds. Good, everybody. Five seconds to go. Keep it going. Recover for 20 seconds. And let's go jump and jack again. Keep right arms nice and Good. We're going to do one more of these for our straight punches. Then we'll change it up slightly. Five seconds. This time you guys decide whether you go left leg in front or right leg as you felt more comfortable. If left is in front, you're throwing your left hand first. So in, in, left, right, and back in. Let's go for it. Good. Keep those hands nice and high. Remember, we're not punching from our chest, we're punching high. So now get your hands up nice and high, up in front of your face. There you go. Good stuff. Throw it from there. Excellent. Well done. Good stuff, guys. We've 10 seconds left. Keep it going. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Five seconds. Five seconds. And we're into our jacks. Let's go. Super. Ten seconds of jacks to go. And time. Good stuff. Grab a quick drink if you want. We're going to do one more of those boxing um, boxing Tabatas or boxing uh, intervals. So we're going to work again for 30 seconds off, 30 seconds off. 
Good stuff. Um, with that, we're going to this time stand on the one position. Okay, so we're staying in one position. We have our split stand set up. We're going to throw a bit of a combination. So we're going left, right, squat. Okay, so left, right, squat. Left, right, squat. Have a look at my legs. They're in a split stand position. Okay, so it's not a straight squat. We're not moving our feet. Keep them as they are. Left, right, squat. Left, right, squat. Okay, that's the exercise we're working on this one. Make sure to get right deep down in your, in your split squat if you can. You're trying to get as low as possible. We're going in three. Left leg in front. Two and one. Left, right, squat right down. Left, right, squat right down. Good. So again, it's left, right, squat right down. Good. There's no movement to the feet. They stay in one position. Left, right, squat. Left, right, squat. Get down nice and deep into it. 10 seconds. Good stuff, Katie. We can get a little bit lower, Alvin. Well done. Five seconds. Good. Five seconds to go. Active recovery on this one, guys, is squat hops. Hands on our hips, and we're powering up with our squat hops. Let's go. Active recovery. Good. No leaning in. Keep your upper body nice and tall. And back in, let's go right leg out in front this time. So right leg in front, let's throw right hand, then left hand, squat. Let's go, right, left, squat. Good, again, get down nice and deep into it. Good, keep those elbows tucked in a little bit more, Emma, well done. Excellent, guys, 15 seconds to go. Good, the speed is looking good. Make sure to send those arms full extension. Get them right out, you're not going to be operating small. Big. And let's squat up. Good. No knees falling inwards. Everybody's keeping them nice and strong. Good. We're just barely getting ourselves up off the ground. So, Hayden, we're into our squat hops. We're into our squat hops. Active recovery. There you go. Good stuff. Five seconds to go. Keep hopping. Five seconds. On this last one, you guys decide which leg is in front. Let's get working. Left, right. Left, right. Or if you're going right leg out in front, you try your right first. Good. This is your last round on these, guys. Good. The speed is looking super well done. Ten seconds. You're nearly at that final bell. Keep it going. Good, extend the arms out straight. Good stuff, Suzanne, well done. And into our squat hops, let's go. Good stuff, you guys, while you're squat hopping, I'm just gonna set up our timer for the next one. Good, let's get hopping, guys. Let's everybody hopping. Workout complete. Good, 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 you've 10 seconds left. Excellent, keep getting yourself up off the ground. Three, two, and one to relax. Very well done. Grab a quick drink of water. That's two rounds done. I'm just going to set a timer up for our next part of our class. And so we're going to work 20 on, 10 off. Perfect. And recover for 10. Perfect. And we're going to have eight. Okay, so... While you guys are getting your drink on board, I'm just going to explain what the next part of our class is going to entail. So we're going to work three Tabatas now. So with our Tabatas, it's a case of we're going to work for 20 seconds on with 10 seconds off, and we're going to do it for eight rounds. So it's a total of four minutes. We're going to do an upper body four-minute workout, a lower body four-minute workout, a core four-minute workout, and then we'll see how we are in time. We might go into our finish event. Okay, so our upper body one that we're going to work, if you want to set up your yoga mat, if you have a mat, that you want to set up, you can now. Um, upper body, the two exercises we're going to work is, first one is just going to be an inchworm into a push-up, so we're walking it out, into our push-up, and back in. If you find that too difficult to do with straight legs, bend your knees, bring yourself right down close to the ground, out, drop down onto your knees for your push-up, down, back up off our knees, and walk it back in to touch your toes. So, Hard version, legs straight, 
easier version, knees bent. The second exercise we're going to go with then, I'll show you front on the second exercise. We are going shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. So top and opposite hand, opposite shoulder, hand, shoulder, reach back, ankle, and reach back, ankle. So again, shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Okay, there are two exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we're going to start off with our inchworm. So if you're at the end of your mat there, we're going to walk the body out. We're starting in five. 20 seconds on it, three, two, and one. Let's get working. Good, well done. Tuck the elbows in nice and tight. Remember what we always say with our push-ups, act as if you're pushing somebody away. Five seconds to go. And time. Okay, second exercise. We get ourselves set up in our five plank position. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Three, two, and one. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Five seconds. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Five seconds to go. And relax, go. Give your wrists a quick roll. We're back into our inchworm position at the last one. Three, two, one. Let's work. We're walking it out into that cushion. Good. Speed we're getting at is very good, everybody. Well done. And relax, good. Again, roll the wrist. We're down in for a high plank position when you're ready. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Three, two, one. Let's work. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Excellent. Speed we're hitting is really, really good. Everybody, well done. Five seconds to go. Get one or two more in. And time, good, good, good. Roll the wrist, back up to our feet. Five seconds. Get short and sharp rates. Three, two, and one, let's work. Go on, bring yourself right back in to touch those toes. Five seconds. Five seconds to go, get one more in. And relax, good. Roll the wrist. We are way over halfway. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Three, two, and one. Let's work. Five seconds. Five seconds. And time. Let's go. Roll the wrist. Go into our final round, everybody. Final round of each one. Three, two, and uh, one. Let's work. Go in turns. Go, go, go. Take your time when you're standing back up. We're going five seconds to go. Go depth on the push ups. Katie, well done. Excellent, Emma. And relax, good, roll the wrist. Last shoulder tap, ankle tap, coming up. Three, two, and one, over to you guys. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Five seconds. Go on, stick your ass way up in the air when you're going for those shoulder, ankle taps. Five seconds. Five seconds to go. And time. Super, super, super well done. Grab yourselves a well-deserved drink. Excellent work. We're going to take it to our lower body in about 30, 45 seconds. I'm going to demonstrate the two exercises as you guys are getting your water on board. So first up, we are going to go with a traveling squat. So with our traveling squat, the feet start nice and narrow in the center. We squat one in the narrow spot. We squat another one in the middle. We squat another one really, really wide. Back to middle, back to narrow. 
middle, wide, middle, narrow. So again, those three spots you're hitting, feet are really, where am I? Oh, where's the camera? Feet are really nice and narrow together. Feet are then in the middle, and then feet turn off slightly for your wider position. Back to middle, back to narrow. So one, two, three, and back in. The second exercise we're going to work is our curtsy to power lunge. So remember with this one, we are stepping off to the side. Keep that knee nice and straight. Stepping off to the side, dropping down from there. Drive the knee towards the chest, look to the side. Down, knee towards the chest. All right, there's our two. Perfect. Looking good, Neil, good stuff. So those are our two exercises that we're going to get stuck into. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Starting with our traveling squat. We're getting going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Make sure you get down nice and deep into the squat. And there's no brown back, so sticking those chests out. Keeping the backs nice and straight. Five seconds to go. And relax, good stuff. We are into our curtsy lunge. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get feet down. One try. Feet down. Bring that knee right up to your chest. Five seconds. And recover, shake the legs out. We're back into our traveling squat. In five, four, three, two, and one, let's work. Good, technique is looking good. Same as always with a squat, it's as if you're sitting back into that chair, sticking out of the back, but keep the chest up. And relax. Good, 10 seconds into that curtsy and power. Three, two, and one. Let's work, step and drive, step and drive. Good, good. With this one, whichever knee is out in front, make sure it's not falling off to the side. Keep it nice and straight to keep that knee that's in front nice and straight so that you're feeling the stretch in your hammer and glute. Um, relax. Good stuff, good stuff. Back to the traveling squat. We're halfway. Three, two, and one. Let's work. Very good. Throw it all into your legs. All the strain is into your legs. Again, ass way out the back. Good. Keep it going. Five seconds to go. And time, good. Remember with this one to really drive the knee, you step, but make sure to drive the knee at the end and switch. So in three, two, and one. Let's work. 20 seconds only, so you can really put some speed to this now. Lunge and drive, lunge, drive, lunge, drive, lunge, drive. Type of speed you're looking to hit. Let's go for it, guys. Five seconds left on this one, five seconds. No leaning inches and keep your body up nice and tall. Bend your knees to bring you down. And relax for 10. Last set of our traveling squat. Feet narrow. Three, two, and one. Let's work. Squat, 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 and squat. Good. Chase those foot positions. Really, really narrow, middle, wide. Five seconds to go. And time. Good. We're into our last reverse into or curtsy into power lunge. Three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Step, drive, step, drive, drive that knee right up. Good. Get that knee right up towards your chest. That one. Well done. Good. Emma, really good. Wide step. Exit knees. Good, Katie. Super, we are all flying, guys. 10 seconds, even less. Five, three, two, and one, two. Relax. Well done, well done. Good stuff again. Grab a drink, have a wipe if you need. On our next one. So, we've worked our upper body to battle where we worked 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and two exercises. Lower body, the same. 
20 and 10. Now with this core one, we are going to work four different exercises. So for our first 20 seconds is gonna be one exercise. The 10 seconds rest is gonna be another. 20 seconds again is gonna be a different one. And again, 10 seconds is gonna be a different one. So your 10 seconds are just gonna be holds, okay? So you're not moving for your 10 seconds. That's gonna be a rest but the 20 seconds is gonna be an activity. So I'm gonna give you the four exercises now. Don't worry if you forget them, I'll be explaining them again as we go along. So first exercise we're gonna go with, it's just our mountain climber, nice and simple, 20 seconds straight through the middle. After that 20 seconds is up, we're going into a bear called hold for 10 seconds. So we're just holding this position, knees directly underneath hips, hands directly underneath shoulders for 10. After that then we're gonna flip, we're going out and in, sit up, so hands by your hips, crunching in and out, in and out, in and out. And then finally for your 20 seconds, we're just going, for your 10 seconds at the end, we're just going into a hollow hole. Okay, so again, exercises, mountain climber, bear crawl hold, flipping over, in and out, sit ups, hollow hold. Those are our four. If you feel there's any that you can't do, um, maybe the in and out sit-ups might be a bit of an issue. Um, what we can do instead is just hold a hollow hold for the whole 30 seconds, the 20 and the 10, if you feel you can't do the in and out sit-ups. So I'll get you down in the floor in your mountain climber position. We're going to work for 20 seconds on the mountain climber in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's work mountain climber 20 seconds. Good, make sure to tuck the knee right in and then stretch the leg way out the back. Five seconds to go, keep it going. And relax, let's lock it up in our bed or in our bear crawl position. Hold it nice and tight. And time, over we go, let's work again. In and out crunches. Remember, if you feel you can't do the in and out crunches, you can just go straight into your hollow hold. Five seconds to go. And our hollow hold, let's go for it. Arms out wide, legs up off the ground. Really short. Three, two, and one to relax. Good. We flip it back over into our mountain climber again. Going to three, two, and one. Let's mount and climb. Good, let's see a little bit more speed. There should be no movement out of our shoulders, only out of the knees, driving towards the elbows. Seven seconds to go. Good, 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 good. And hold, hold it in that bear crawl, knees directly underneath hips, hands directly underneath shoulders. Really press hard into the ground. And let's flip over we go. In and out sit ups on our back, over we go, straight into it. Stretch the legs out, crunch the knees in. Good, remember it's only 20 seconds, trying to get in as many as you can. Excellent, hands up off the ground, makes it that little bit harder. Good, looking really good guys, into our hollow hold, arms out wide, let's hold that position, 10 seconds. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, well done. Roll your knees side to side. I'm giving you a longer break on this one. Okay, so I'm giving you a longer break. And what I want you to do now is we're gonna flip the exercises. So the ones that were short, that were only 10 seconds are now gonna be 20 seconds. And the ones that were 20 seconds are now gonna be 10 seconds. So we're gonna start off with our hold, with our bear crawl hold. I'm just gonna restart my timer here. Perfect, so we're getting going with our bear crawl hold in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's hold that bear crawl position for 20 seconds. Go in five seconds, we're into our mountain climber. Three, two, and one, let's go mountain climber. Good, really tear into it, it's only 10 seconds of it. And over we flip into our hollow hold position, onto our back hollow hold, 
Arms out wide, legs up off the ground. Good, if you're not shaking already, stretch it out that little bit more. And let's crunch, in and out crunches straight in for 10 seconds, let's go. Super guys, four, five seconds left. And time, good, over we go into our bare front hold, last round. Super, backs are nice and straight, backs are as straight as a tray. Five seconds to go. And let's mountain climb, let's go for it. Drive those knees towards the chest, straight in. Really short, those 10 seconds are really, really short. In three, two, and one. Let's flip into our hollow hold, arms wide. Stretch that body out, stretch it right out as long as you can get it. Good, arms nice and wide, stretch those legs out a little bit more, Alan. Five seconds to go. In and out crunches for 10, let's see it. In and out for 10. Five seconds, get two or three more in. Three, two, and time. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well done, everybody. Super work, grab a quick drink of water. We are gonna go into our finisher, which today is gonna to be an EMOM, which I'm gonna demonstrate for you now. So we are going to work one exercise for five, the second exercise for 10, and the third exercise, ah, uh, no, I'll be nice to you because it's after Easter Monday. We'll go five, seven, and 10. Okay, so we're gonna work five burpees. With our burpees, I just want regular, so we're down, elbows to knees, hands to the ground, hopping out, completely flat, hopping in, and hopping up. So we're going for five of those. We are then gonna go for seven. We'll take it back to our upper body. We'll make it a little bit easier. So we're gonna go for seven break dancers. So we start in our very prone position. We twist just to touch our ass off the ground. If you can't touch up the hand off the leg and back to the center. So again, start in your very prone position, touch. If you don't feel comfortable touching hand and leg, you can just twist so that your leg comes out to the side. Bring it back to the center. Twist, leg to the side, the back to the center. Key with this one, like you're not back here. It's in nice and tight. We need it to be tight in here, so we're going for seven of those. And then finally, we're just going to go with our squat hops again for 10. Power them down. And it's floating up. The quicker you guys get these done, the longer of a rest you have. Okay, so we're going every minute on the minute for the next three minutes. It's going to equal four rounds in total. So first up is your five burpees. You're going in three, two, and one. Let's go for five burpees, tear into them. Once you have your five burpees done, you're into your break dancer. For seven touches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you have your seven break dancers done, you're back up to your feet. Your 10 squat hops. Good, get that twist in, get that touch. Excellent, everybody's making really good break dancers, good stuff. You're up to your feet, 10 squat hops. Good, we're really, really gonna empty the tank now with this finisher. Next minute is starting in 20 seconds. Good, if it feels like you're running on empty, don't worry, it should at this stage. This is approaching the end of your class, this is what we want. Next minute starting, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Into your burpees. Five burpees, let's see it. Good, complete dead man chest all the way down to the floor, Emma, chest all the way. There you go, good stuff. Excellent, once you have your five done, you're into your break dances for seven, get that twist off of the hand, off of the foot. Good. Super movement, movement, movement from everybody is excellent. Once you have your seven done, you are back up to your feet. Good, make sure you're alternating sides, Emma. There you go. 
Once you're back up to your feet, you're into your squat hops. Next minute is starting in 17 seconds. Go and make sure we're getting up off the ground. Excellent. Always encourage sons and daughters to join in. So if you have uh, any little ones you want to join in, encourage. <laughs> Next minute is starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's burpee again. Last round. Get body all the way down, explosive up. Good stuff, Emma. Don't worry if you catch up nice and quick. Super. Good, really good, Neve Roddy. Excellent. Well done. Once you have your five done, you're into your seven break dances. Good. Twist, get that touch. Good. No losing our balance, no losing control of it. It's always under control. Super, super, bring your hand down to touch the foot, opposite hand, opposite foot, that one. Once you have your seven done, into your 10 squat hops, and that is you guys done this morning. Excellent, make sure we're getting up off the ground, really, really powerful through the legs. I know they're feeling dead at this stage. Once you have your 10 done, get your water on board, have a quick drink, and we will get into our cool down in about 30 seconds. For those of you finishing out, finish them out. And time. Excellent. Excellent. Well done, guys. Really enjoyed the class to teach this morning. Good stuff. So get your water on board. Try to get your breathing back under control. So nice deep breath in. Holding it. And exhaling then for three, two, and one. We'll do the same again. Deep breath in for three, two, one. Hold it. For three, two, one, and exhale for three, two, and one. We're gonna start off our stretches always with our calves. We're down, high plank position, pumping the heels. And relax, we'll drop down to one knee, we'll extend one leg out in front for our hamstring stretch. And we place the foot flat, same foot in front, pushing our hips in now for a hip flexor stretch. And relax, we'll switch it over. And relax, we'll place the foot flat, push the hips in. And relax, we'll bring it up to our feet, same hand, same ankle for a quad stretch. And relax, we'll switch it over. And relax, go, we go arm across our body, last one. Go, really press the arm into the opposite arm, so really press it in to get as much of a stretch as you can. Cross the back of your shoulder. And relax and change it over. Ah, relax. Excellent work, everybody. Well done for yourselves. A round of applause. Hopefully, have you, you've uh, had a good start to your week now, and I shall see you at some stage later on in the week, maybe Thursday. All right, have a good day. See you later, guys. Thanks, Jake. Well done. Bye. Thanks.